Hey y'all, welcome back to Spirit of the Outdoors. I have realized that we can't even sit down on the porch and rest without creating more work for ourselves. I was sitting there in my rocking chair and next thing I knew, I had a tiller in my hand and I was going back and forth across the front of the house. So let me explain to you what has just took place. Right here, we've had this row of rocks at the end of our porch where our driveway comes in. And we've been going landscape it for four years. But we were sitting there talking and my mama brought a plan up here to give to Michelle. And we got to discussing of where we was going to put what. And next thing I knew, we had done in our minds, planted a whole row of shrubs and built a step down here and i don't know what all so here we go so anyway it's been needing to happen and we do it's time to get this done before we before spring gets underway uh the next thing is her mom and dad had some uh trees cut down and they had the uh the the stumps mulched up so we got some free mulch at our disposal so i've got some plastic what we're going to do right now is I'm finna to get this trenched out. I used to do landscaping back. I've said this in a video back when I got out of high school. I did it for several years. Really enjoyed it and learned a lot. So I'm going to make a trench out here so that when I'm mowing, I can go right around through there and be gone and not have to slow down. Good swooping curves. I'm going to build a rock landing out there not a step because it's too low for a step so i'm just going to build a rock pad with with and stack up some rocks on the side with some mortar build some columns right here i'm fixing to put a trench in with this shovel and throw the grass and then we're going to plastic over this put that mulch down and then we're going to pine straw over the mulch because we can redo pine straw every year for free we have plenty here on the homestead so that's what's happening what few plants we got, you'd rake the mulch black, cut an X in the plastic, and you can plant through it. No big deal. So that's what you see in Hatton right here. You did chainsaw three times? No. You see what she's got? Brody's chainsaw. So really what I needed was some landscape paint to come through here and uh, even this curve out. I'm just going to take off down through there for right now. And uh, I can straighten it up, adjust it as need be. So you just dig your grass up, throw it on over in the bed. And it probably would have been ideal to have dug this ditch before I tilled. But I wasn't sure. I kind of drove the tiller down the way I wanted to go, so I can kind of follow it. Anybody need any sod? Well, I believe I'm gonna take a break and go make pottery. She's in there hollering what, like I was talking to her. <laughs> I'm about tuckered out. Let me show you what I done. So, I created me a little ditch and then I stopped right here where my step is gonna be, landing, whatever you wanna call it. So then I went on and I ain't got my curve just perfect, but it's pretty good for somebody that didn't use a marking line. I swooped it on around there. So, time to do some landscaping. Well, we got that much loaded up when Michelle did. We got it out from right there. So she said she was, wasn't on load no more than that, so I had to quit fishing and come up here to check on her.
dog with the keys. We're using John and Cut. Okay. Y'all, a lot of times you put your plants down first and you cut and drop your plastic over. But what we're gonna do, we're gonna cover all this with mulch because we're gonna buy small plants because they're cheaper, obviously. Um, and then I'll rake the mulch back, cut an X in there, put my plant. Won't be hard for me to plant because this dirt's really soft after I tilled it up. Fold the plastic back and we'll rake the mulch up to it. This mulch has got some dirt, different stuff in it because it's just a ground up stump. We didn't go buy mulch. So what we'll do then is we're gonna cover everything with pine straw because I can put pine straw back every year for free, dress it up, make it look good. So we finna start mulching this. Of course, I'm gonna build right here in this front center. We have some rock right here. I'm gonna lay it down on top of this plastic and build me like a landing sort of a step thing, so. You gonna roll it in the wheelbarrow? Or? Yeah. What, what? Yeah, you serve it up. I gotta have some boards to stop up the hole in the bottom of my wheelbarrow. It's time for a new wheelbarrow. Is the other shovel out? Uh -huh. mm -hmm. I'm gonna dump it and you're gonna raise it up. I just told you that with my patch to cover up the uh, hole in my wheelbarrow. Where's the other I one? I can't be over here. I used it. I used it. I used it to block right here where that grass Well, I don't leave going. it. I don't need but the one. <laughs> That big stick.
Well, y'all, we got the mulch part done. We fixing to go see if we can find some plants. We looked at some, didn't really know what we want to do, but we got the mulch pretty thin. We're gonna come back and cover it all with pine straw. So it's supposed to rain this evening, so I figure when it rains, just going the plastic's gonna start showing through this because we used every bit that we had, spread it out to make it work. But it's mainly there to help hold that plastic in place because pine straw alone won't hard to do that.
y'all we got all the plants in now we're fixing to cover all this with pine straw i've got to build a set of steps right over here on this so i've got to mark out where center is and get it exactly like i want it we basically gonna lay some rocks down on top of that plastic put some pea gravel in it i'm gonna build two columns of rocks coming out on each side stacked up just like two or three rock size it so, we spent about a hundred bucks on plants. That's why we bought them little bitty ones, cause they'll grow. Anyway, we're gonna get the pine straw put in. We'll pick you back up. Well, Y'all ain't gonna believe this. We do have rocks here in Mississippi. They ain't but one place so you can find them and that's stacked up on a pallet somewhere. So, anyway, we had these. My dad's had them left over from when he had his fireplace built uh, at the cabin. We stacked rocks on the outside of that chimney and inside on the fireplace and all that and there's about a half a pallet over there left so i've got plenty to do what i'm gonna do right here so we're gonna set the camera up and we're gonna start playing like a jigsaw puzzle Y'all need help good as I got.
don't look bad. What I'm going to do, I think, is we're going to get some pea gravel. And I'm going to pour that pea gravel in all of those cracks. I was thinking about, I know all of this is unlevel. I don't know how much that's going to bother me, this wobbling. This is not like we're going to use it a lot walking out because we really don't come out through here no whole lot. We go off the end of the carport back over that way. So I guess we leave it alone and see what, what happens, how we like it. Roscoe, what are you doing? Supervising? We getting enough? Well, y'all, it's coming right on along. We got this side pine straw. That side is mulch. We starting it now. Roscoe's the one operating the buggy over, I think, him and Brody. Brody's done shut down to his drawers. Where's your blue jeans, Brody? <laughs> and then them two. Well, y'all, we got everything done with this except putting the pea gravel in on these steps. We'll get that sometime in the near future. Brody's out here with his tractor. I know somebody's going to wonder what they're hearing. But we've got all this done. Pine straw all the way down. I'm afraid I'm going to get run over from behind. So this was one of them projects that just kind of happened, you know, in the middle of needing to build a patio and need to do this, that, and the other, just come up. But partly because that mulch was there and we need to get it out of her mom and daddy's yard. So we, it was a big help to get that. And uh, so we put really small bushes. You can't even hardly see them. They'll grow, not worried about it. Another thing is that pine straw packed down. We put it pretty thick. When it rains on it, that's gonna pack down good, so. Uh, we're gonna put some fertilizer around them. We put yo ponds in. We got a lower pedalum tree on one end, and we've got a crank model here. Now I am gonna come back eventually, and on either side of my step, I'm gonna put something taller on either side. I didn't find what I wanted. I want two of those Christmas tree looking things, uh, so I can wrap them with lights during the. I'm gonna get run over. Is what's gonna happen. Brody, what, we're going to tell him bye. <gasps> He's going to get bad hurt right there. You all right? You got to slow down, buddy. Is it going to heal? Yeah, I think it will. Anyway, thank you all for watching Spirited Outdoors episode of Landscape in the Front of the House. Uh, I had some questions about the house. We may do a video one day if I can find some clips of back when we was building it and do a video on it. Uh, I built the house before we started filming YouTube. But anyway, we about to get done with most of it. Thank you for watching. Remember, the best way to do things is the way you like to do it. We'll see y'all. Y'all have a good one.